a massive crack, estimated to be up to 50 feet deep, has suddenly appeared in Kenya, signaling a major shift in East Africa's landscape. This change is not just a distant possibility, it is happening right now. The Earth's tectonic forces are at work, slowly tearing the African continent apart and making way for a future ocean. Scientists have been studying these geological changes for years, but the latest developments have been more dramatic than expected. Even Elon Musk's AI system analyzed the data, and the results were alarming. Before understanding why this event is so significant, it's important to know about the East African Rift. While many people have heard of the Great Rift Valley, the East African Rift is actually a separate geological phenomenon. It is a massive fracture in the Earth's crust, stretching for thousands of kilometers across East Africa. This rift runs from Ethiopia's Afar region down to Mozambique, slowly pulling the land apart in opposite directions. Over time, this rift could split Africa into two distinct land masses, creating a new ocean. The East African Rift is divided into two major sections, the Eastern Rift, also called the Gregory Rift, and the Western Rift, known as the Albertine Rift. The Eastern Rift runs from Ethiopia through Kenya and into Tanzania, featuring dramatic landscapes and rift valley lakes. The Western Rift, which borders Uganda, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Burundi, is deeper and contains some of Africa's most stunning lakes, such as Lake Tanganyika and Lake Malawi. These lakes are not just scenic but also essential to local ecosystems, supporting diverse wildlife. Rather than being a single straight crack, the rift is made up of multiple smaller rifts and faults. In Ethiopia, it meets the Afar Triple Junction, where three tectonic plates are moving apart, the African, Somali, and Arabian plates. The rift extends southward, causing gradual but constant geological changes. One of the most intriguing features of this rift is the Victoria Microplate, a smaller tectonic plate between the eastern and western rift. Unlike most plates that move in line with the rift system, this one rotates in the opposite direction, making it a unique geological phenomenon. Africa's landscape is in constant motion, even though these changes are not noticeable within a human lifetime. However, some events reveal this transformation in dramatic ways. One such event occurred in Ethiopia's Afar region in 2005, when the ground literally ripped apart. The event was marked by powerful earthquakes, deep fissures, and volcanic eruptions, offering a rare glimpse into the forces shaping our planet. In September 2005, small tremors began in the Afar depression, escalating in intensity. Within days, the land split apart by 26 feet, and sections of terrain dropped by about 5 feet. The sudden movement left deep cracks and permanently altered the landscape. Usually, tectonic plates move only a few centimeters per year, but this shift happened almost instantly. Along with the earthquakes, volcanic activity intensified. The Dabahu volcano erupted violently, spewing ash into the air and sending molten rock to the surface. Nearby volcanoes, which had been dormant for years, showed signs of sinking. This event provided scientists with an extraordinary opportunity to study how continents break apart. The 2005 event was not just another earthquake or volcanic eruption, it was a rare example of how tectonic forces interact. Earthquakes created fractures, volcanic activity filled them with magma, and the cycle continued. This process is usually hidden beneath the ocean, but in the Afar region, it is happening on land, allowing scientists to observe the birth of a new ocean. Researchers use satellite data, radar imaging, and GPS technology to track the region's changes. Between 2005 and 2010, they detected 13 magmatic events, each contributing to the ongoing transformation of the rift. Using advanced techniques like synthetic aperture radar interferometry, they could measure shifts in the landscape with incredible precision. Beyond its scientific significance, the 2005 event had a major impact on local communities. The sudden ground movements and volcanic eruptions disrupted lives, forcing many people to leave their homes. It was a powerful reminder that Earth's surface is never truly still, and the forces beneath us continue to shape the world in ways we are only beginning to understand. The sudden changes in the landscape disrupted settlements, and the volcanic ash posed serious health risks. However, this event also drew global attention to the geological significance of the Afar Depression. 
media coverage helped raise awareness of the geohazards in the region, while museums and science programs educated the public about the dramatic shifts happening beneath the Earth's surface. Although the 2005 event was dramatic, it was just one step in a much longer process. Fast forward to today, and the Earth is once again showing signs of movement. In Ethiopia's main Ethiopian rift, the ground has been shaking, causing concern among both residents and scientists. A series of strong earthquakes, ranging from magnitudes for 0.3 to 5.1, have recently struck the region, raising fears about what might come next. Could these tremors be warning signs of something bigger, a volcanic eruption or a major geological shift? These recent earthquakes, which occurred near the Fentail volcano between December 29 and 30, 2024, are the latest signs of the powerful forces reshaping the East African Rift. The strongest quake, a magnitude 5.1, struck late at night, with its epicenter about 28 miles northeast of Nazareth. Many residents in nearby towns reported feeling the tremors, some for the first time in their lives. Even Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, wasn't spared from the shaking, serving as a reminder that deep underground, the earth is constantly in motion. Unlike regions where earthquakes occur unexpectedly, the East African Rift is an area where seismic activity is expected. This massive crack in the Earth's crust is slowly pulling apart, creating stress points where the land shifts, cracks, and occasionally moves violently. Most of these shifts happen gradually over thousands of years, but sometimes, the process speeds up, just as it seems to be doing now. Scientists believe these earthquakes may not be caused solely by tectonic forces. Volcanologist Tom Pfeiffer suggests they might be linked to a shallow magma intrusion, molten rock moving closer to the surface. If this is the case, the likelihood of a volcanic eruption in this part of the rift has increased. The Fentail volcano, which last erupted in 1820, has a long history of activity, and these tremors could be an early sign that it is becoming active again. Monitoring earthquakes in this region is challenging. Unlike places like California or Japan, where advanced seismic networks track even minor tremors, Ethiopia has fewer monitoring instruments. Many of these recent quakes were only detected by global networks, meaning smaller tremors may have gone unnoticed. Scientists rely on satellite images, GPS data, and ground reports to understand what is happening beneath the surface. However, one thing is clear, the East African Rift is behaving as expected. This is not just a random series of earthquakes, it is part of the slow but unstoppable process of a continent splitting apart. The Nubian and Somali tectonic plates are drifting away from each other, creating deep cracks that trigger earthquakes and allow magma to rise. In some places, this leads to volcanic eruptions, while in others, it forms new valleys and lakes. In the grand scheme of geological time, these events are shaping the eventual formation of a new ocean in East Africa. For the millions of people living in the affected areas, this is not just an interesting geological phenomenon, it is a real and immediate concern. Towns such as Metahara and Awash, home to thousands of people, are located in the middle of this active rift zone. With over 3.4 million people living within 62 miles of the Fentail volcano, the risk of an eruption or a stronger earthquake cannot be ignored. Authorities have issued warnings, urging residents to remain alert and prepared for possible evacuations if the situation worsens. Scientists are closely monitoring the activity, using satellite images that show clear changes in the landscape. Subtle ground shifts may indicate magma movement beneath the surface. By using synthetic aperture radar interferometry, researchers can detect deformations in the Earth's crust, helping them understand how the rift is evolving in real time. One of the most striking signs that Africa is slowly splitting apart is the massive crack in Kenya. Unlike many geological events that capture headlines briefly and then fade from public attention, this crack has not disappeared. In fact, it continues to grow, widening and deepening over time. It serves as a constant reminder that the East African rift is active and evolving. This enormous fissure first made headlines in March 2018 when it suddenly appeared near the town of Maimahi, west of Nairobi. Stretching for miles and reaching depths of over 50 feet, it seemed to have appeared overnight. Witnesses described the terrifying moment when the ground split apart before their eyes. One family was eating dinner when they heard a deep rumbling sound. 
Within moments, their home was literally torn in two, forcing them to flee. The crack also cut through a major highway, causing part of the road to collapse and disrupting transportation in the area. At first, some scientists thought the fissure was simply the result of heavy rainfall eroding the volcanic ash deposits, exposing an older crack beneath the surface. However, further research revealed that this was not just a case of erosion. The crack lies along the East African Rift, where the continent is being pulled apart. While the dramatic opening of the fissure may have seemed sudden, the process driving it has been happening for millions of years. What makes this crack so unusual is that, unlike many tectonic shifts that happen deep beneath the ocean or over millions of years, this one is occurring on land, in real time. Even more remarkably, it is not going away. Instead of closing up or remaining unchanged, it continues to expand, becoming a living marker of the immense geological forces at work. The growing fissure is a clear sign that the Somali plate, which includes parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania, is slowly moving away from the rest of Africa. Scientists studying the crack have noted that its growth is uneven, with some sections widening more quickly than others. The northern part of the East African Rift, particularly in Ethiopia, is covered with volcanic rock, making it more likely to split further. Over time, the rift will continue to expand, and though the changes may not be visible daily, each shift is another step toward the eventual formation of a new ocean. For now, life in the affected areas continues as usual. The fissure has been temporarily filled with rocks and concrete to restore roads and infrastructure. However, in the long run, what does this mean for the future of these communities? Will the land become too unstable for permanent settlement? Could similar cracks appear in other parts of the Rift Valley? To understand what is happening in the East African Rift today, we need to look at the past. The idea of a continent splitting apart may seem extreme, but history shows that this process has happened before. One of the best examples is the breakup of Pangaea, the supercontinent that existed about 200 million years ago. At that time, all land on Earth was joined together. However, deep below the surface, the Earth's internal forces were at work. Over millions of years, cracks formed, separating land masses. Eventually, these rifts filled with water, creating new oceans, such as the Atlantic. A similar process occurred around 30 million years ago with the formation of the Red Sea. The Arabian and African plates pulled apart, creating a valley. At first, it was landlocked, but as the rift widened, seawater from the Indian Ocean flooded in, forming the Red Sea. The East African rift is following the same pattern. The Afar depression in Ethiopia, already below sea level, may be the first area to flood, forming a new sea. Scientists estimate that within the next 5 to 10 million years, water from the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean will seep in, transforming dry land into a new ocean. Eventually, the Somali plate will completely separate from Africa, creating an ocean much like the Atlantic. This transformation is part of a natural cycle that has shaped Earth's geography for millions of years. The East African Rift is not just a place of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, it is a glimpse into the planet's future.